thank you for joining us here in the theater and on, on online at home. All right, everybody, everybody at home, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. we're just gonna assume that they're ready. <laughs> well, if you're ready for the biggest gaming, uh, biggest Big show, show in gaming, then let's start the show. Let's do it! Let's do it! Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Hump Day special. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day show. Uh, we are super hyped on this Wednesday because we are bringing you our E3 predictions. Um, E3, 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 E3. E, oh, okay. So this is what we've been waiting for all year, for the past year, is this moment. Figuring out nothing else matters. Nothing else not really kids, matters. Not marriage, not nope. life. E3. Peace. E3. That's all that matters. And we got our predictions coming up because it looks like it's going to be a pretty badass show. Everybody's going to start showing us what's going to come out these 2019 holidays. We've already heard of some things. COD, Dead Stranding, uh, oh, you know, Stranding. Jedi, uh, Fallen Order. You know, so we we already got a pretty stacked holidays. We got a pretty stacked year. But so what are these people gonna show us? We're gonna tell you what we think we're gonna see. Uh, so fuck it, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right. So I'm gonna start it off, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with with something that's kind of dear to my heart. One of my favorite RPGs, Octopath Traveler. I feel everybody's talking about Square Enix about Final Fantasy. And uh, Avengers. Aww. Well, I want to see Octopath Traveler 2. Okay. Because supposedly it's it's in production. They're doing it. We haven't heard anything from it. We haven't seen anything from it. They're going to show it. Surprise everybody. On all three consoles, not just Switch. Okay. Releasing something. <laughs> there, I called it. <laughs> Boom, it's happening. Octopath Traveler 2 coming to you soon. I'm calling it, calling it now, okay? Boom, my prediction. All right, what you got? All right, so in the spirit of Square Enix, I'm also calling Marvel's Avengers. I'm excited for the gameplay. I'm excited what they're going to bring. Um, so I'm calling a release date for that one. Uh, I'm gonna say mid-July. July, definitely what? in the summer. Summer? Avengers. Yeah. I think you're crazy. Uh, look, That's it's, too it's, soon. It's we it's haven't perfect, seen anything. It's a perfect. It's right on the heels of the Avengers movie, the end game. And it's right in the middle of summer vacation when a lot of kids are off and a lot of favorite, you know, Marvel characters out there. I think it's going to be really sweet. Right, that's pretty bold. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for I it. I can't wait to say you're wrong. I got a... <laughs> I mean, I'm like Nostradamus over here. Lostadramus. Uh, you know, I'm seeing what's going to happen, right? I'm seeing my brain waves are scouring the earth, and I could tell what these publishers, what these developers are going to tell us, and I feel that Sony, all right? Sony's not at E3 this year, no, right? Not. Big news, not at E3. It's not going to, it's a no-show, but they already spoiled some stuff with uh, Death Stranding. I feel either... That Tuesday uh, during e E3, that week or that Wednesday, they're going to drop a state of play. A, a state of play is coming from Sony and Ghost of Tsushima is going to be headlining it with a freaking date. Of release? Date of release. And I think it is December. Boom. Call it. Drop. <laughs> I'm out. Really? Calling it right now. Ghost of Tsushima. They're just stacking this year. They got Death Stranding coming out in November. I feel like they're just going to want to stack the other game on there. Okay, maybe not December, but for nah, sure. Nah, you already said Maybe December. not December, yeah. but for sure January or February. Okay. Their spring game. Which nowadays, games sell during the spring. And I'll tell you in a bit why I think they're going to put it in the spring. Because something else coming in the spring. Something else. Go ahead. All right. So uh, moving along with that same energy, I'm going over to Microsoft. Mm. And Micro. Gears of War 5. Yay. I'm a big fan of Gears of War. Yay. More Gears. 
Uh, like I was talking to Los about it, I'm a little kind of like, hopefully they don't have to look for someone missing, but that's what it seems to be in the announcement trailers, that they're going to find someone that, again, is lost, and they're going to go looking for him, and it's going to be like yeah. an adventure. But the Good old Gears storyline. But Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2 have like really... A really nice place in my heart. I could so. see, because they said 14 games they're going to show. I feel like, of course, Gears of War has to be one of those games. By far. But just showing Gears of War isn't enough. I no, agree with no. you. They got to show a release date. Yeah. And when would you think what that release date would be? Um, I'm going to go ahead and go... Okay. That's it. I'm gonna go in November of 2018. All right. Oh, get up against that stranding. Bye bye, Gears. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> they Good have luck. To some competition, so I'm gonna say Good luck. November 2018. Yeah. Do I want to go find somebody, or do I want to find out the fucking point of existence? Huh? Which one? Do I just want to go cover and shoot people, or do uh, I want to yeah. find out what BTS are? Huh? I already told you what they are. I want to know. <laughs> Good luck, Micro. Um, stay with Microsoft. Now, this is a big hitter right here. Lostradamus is in full effect right now. All right? Full effect. Full effect. All right? My, my, my Microsoft is over here losing. It's in a losing battle. Right? They, they got nothing. Uh, they got Gears of War coming out in November up against Death Stranding. These guys are, 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 are flailing. A prediction. They're drowning. Prediction. They're drowning. I predict Microsoft during E3 is finally going to give us details and specifics on the Anaconda project, the next Xbox. And I feel that these fools are ready to go to the next console. They're ready to go to the next generation. They're not going to wait for Sony. It's not smart for them to wait for Sony. Why wait for Sony to release in the end of 2020? No, you got to get ahead of them. You did it with the 360, and that, uh, you know, uh, did well for you. Mm -hmm. So you got to do it again. You got to get ahead of the PS4, or PS5, I guess. <laughs> they release specs. Tell us, really, I think this conference is going to be half focused on the Anaconda, and they give us a release date, spring 2020. It's coming next year. Up against Ghost of Tsushima. That's what I think. Loster Zombies spoke it. You see me here first. It's coming. Anaconda, VR support, fucking cloud support, Game Pass, and, and live all together in one. It's coming. This is, this, the, if Xbox really wants to fucking blow everybody out of the water, I say they announce a new system now. Go into details, pricing, date. Give it to us. Nice. Why are you yelling? <laughs> He's that passionate. I'm oh, hyped, man. Passion. Loster Domus is in full effect. Passion. Boom. What you got? It's not a competition, Lowe's. What you got? <laughs> okay, so my next one is going to be from Nintendo. And uh, I'm looking forward to Bayonetta 3. Mm, we haven't seen anything about Bayonetta. They actually said they were, like, postponing it. Because yeah. they had said 20... Uh, no, what had they said? I think they had said 2019. I don't know, but I'm they they basically it. said. But I, yeah, I, I'm I'm suspecting they gotta show us something. They gotta show it. They gotta show us something. So I'm I'm kind of pushing for uh you know it's gonna be an announcement. Um like I said this is just a personal game that I like so I'm not expecting it to be like ooh oh my god like this focal feature but I am hoping for a release date. Uh I'm gonna go. I'm gonna what go ahead with, date? yeah. I'm gonna go ahead with the release date. This might be just an announcement, but they might, you know, give kind of like a release date. But I'm gonna go ahead and push it to, uh, you know, what spring of 2020. I so, can see that spring of 2020. Because we don't have no idea what Nintendo's doing for any really no. past 2019. We have no idea. So I could see them putting, you know, uh, they came out with some bops though. They came out with a lot of good bops. They did. Yeah, so I could see them putting, uh, you know, uh, Bayonetta on spring, be making that their spring game to combat Ghost of Tsushima, to combat uh, X the new Xbox Anaconda. I hope they stick with that name, though. Xbox Anaconda sounds fucking badass. Just keep the, the project name. Anaconda. Keep the code name. Um, <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm, I am excited to see what Nintendo gets, because, man, they already have 
some some games coming out. It, oh, let me guess, Animal Crossing. Uh, they they said 2019 Animal Crossing, so it had. When are they gonna put that? They already put uh, got Pokemon slated for. When is that? October. Is that the Pokemon Sword and Shield. Correct. So yeah. they are. I believe they already. Well, that's a holiday game. Right. So Animal Crossing has to be a holiday game. They got uh, Luigi's Mansion, which I believe is gonna be October. I mean, why wouldn't you put Luigi's Mansion in October? Um, so it makes sense. They, they they got they got stuff happening during the holidays, but with no idea what's going on in the spring. I could see Bayonetta going there. Yeah. Um, I got one more. All right. Um. I think, so speaking of Nintendo, I think, you know, all these rumors we've been getting about, you know, uh, different versions of the Switch, there's a age, you know, a, fork, a, a better version on XL, there's a mini version. I think these rumors, there's something to it. And I think we're, it's going to pop out in E3. I believe that, and especially with a new Pokemon game coming out, I believe, and they've done this in the past. I believe that Nintendo is gonna pop out with a new Nintendo Switch Mini. Oh, okay. Doesn't dock, oh. right? It's all just straight portable, packaged in. You could get it with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Or without. Or okay. without, either way. But I think that's gonna be their big like bundle is buy a Switch Mini, get, you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield with it. You know, I think the Mini they would sell for $200. They keep the regular Switch at $300. They, they, the Mini's $200. With the game, you get it for $250. $249.99. <laughs> right? You don't pay the full $60. Bucks. You pay it $50. Bucks, $249.99. You get the Pokemon Switch. They're selling games. You get the Switch. Mini? Nintendo's making money. Mm -hmm. For all them kids who are always destroying their fucking Switches. You give them this little <laughs> Switch Mini that's durable, that doesn't connect to, uh, it's just it's just portable. Dockless, yeah. And boom. Done. I, that's my prediction. And so what are we looking Loster at? Damas. So wait, wait, what do you, what kind of release date do you think? Uh, oh, or goes just... out date and date with Pokemon. So Pokemon, do we have a date for Pokemon? Damn it, I don't know. Um, but uh, I believe the what around is? that same time that Pokemon comes out, maybe it comes out a couple of weeks before, and then the bundle comes out, what if or they, or they do it the same day. But what yeah. if they bundled it with Animal Crossing? Oh my oh. God, I'm getting a Switch Mini. <laughs> nah. Um, <laughs> also, Just huh? Just yeah. So, oh, we're gonna get a release date. Uh, actually, there's a, a stream going on this week. For uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think we get a release date there. And then during E3, they announced the bundle with the Switch Mini. Okay. Lost your dumbest, man. Done. I'm done. All right, guys. Tell us what you guys think. And any, any, you got any more? No, no. Any, any more you want to pop no, out there? No, I didn't do any honorable mentions. I didn't know we could do them. Ah, shit. So. I did them anyways. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> but, uh... I don't make decisions here. <laughs> permanent guest. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you guys think uh, are, uh, is going to happen during E3. Tell us what you guys are excited about. Remember, we will be streaming on Sunday a bunch of the conferences on the three-way podcast channel on twitch.tv slash the three-way podcast. So make sure you follow us, subscribe so you get alerted when we're streaming. We're, we're, E3 is upon us, guys. We're hyped. It's here. Tell us what your predictions are. I'm excited to hear. I can't wait to see how right I am. Los Stradamus is in full effect. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Peace. E3 week. Let's go. Have fun. See y'all guys next time. Thank you.